To create this design in Maya, you need to add a disk. Then go to the H mode and select its outer edge. And then E to extrude it and increase the offset amount at there. Then select this edges and then one more time extrude them. And then scale them in this way. And then you can select these faces and then one more time extrude and adjust the offset amount. Then here you need to add one loop cut and then you can connect the words in this way with the multi cut tool. And then you can dissolve this edge and then select these words and use the edge slide add there to adjust its position. I just want to create a loop structure add there. Then you can select everything. And then you can use the mirror tool add there. So you can take the mirror along the positive z-axis and adjust the merge threshold add there properly. Then go to the edge mode and dissolve this edge loop. And you can see there are some extra unnecessary words. So just select these words and control X to dissolve them. And now you need to use your multi-cut tool and you need to create one cut add there to create that chord based topology. And you will get right face loop structure. You can see, you can check that face loop structure at there. Then you can select these words and you can use the average words at there to get that curve shape. So you need to select the words and you need to use the average words. Select the words and use the average words. And then you can adjust the position of this word at here by using the H slide. And you can adjust the proportions a little bit. Then you can add more loop cuts out there in this way. Then you can select all these faces and use the mirror and adjust the merge threshold properly. Then you can select the faces and use the extra operation and adjust the offset amount. And now we have got the basic 2D block out. Select everything and then extrude it and adjust the thickness out there. Then you can select these faces and increase that selection with the shift plus I think and you can scale these faces along the z axis in this way then just select these faces and use the extract option so you can make it different object and you will get this different two objects just combine them together and then you can select these edges outer edges and you can use the breach option so you will get this different part then you can play with this form and you can use some extra operations and you can create a decent looking form at there simple and decent looking form then you can delete these faces one more time you can select these edges and you can use the fill hole and then you can select these faces and you can use the poke faces so you can get this kind of topology you can add more supportive loop cuts on it to get the right design to maintain its form and you can see you can check the smooth preview of the model which looks pretty well just work on this outer part you need to add supportive loop cuts you can select this edge loops and you can use the breach edge and then you can select these faces and you can use the extra operation and you can adjust the offset amount at there if you see any kind of double words, just control X to dissolve them. And just add a few supportive loop cuts out there. And now you can check the smooth preview of the model, which looks really well. We have got the basic design, basic form for the model. Then you can select these edge loops and you can add a bevel on it. And you can adjust the fraction out there and add a two segment bevel and you can go to the top view you can turn on the extra modifier and you can select one side of the faces and then use the extract option shift right click extract faces so you can make it different object and you will get this kind of two different objects and now you need to create the right topology for this object just need to fill these gaps you can select this each loop and use the fill hole and then Create the right topology that supports your structure to maintain the form of this model. You can use your multi cut tool to create that topology. And that's not difficult, easily you can do this.
and then you can select all these faces and use the mirror tool add there and take the symmetry and you can get this kind of decent looking form add a few more supported loop cuts then you can go to the top view and just rotate this object into the 180 degree and here we have got the simple and basic design and now just we need to add tertiary details on this model that's why the modeling speed is a little bit fast easily you can add this kind of details so watch the process carefully so you can understand how you can emphasize your design if you want to learn the blender software then you can visit our crnt designers main channel there you will get the blender related content and on this channel you will get the maya related content there you go that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye see so next video take care let's go yeah I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes